We're back. So, uh, example three. So, two dice are rolled. One die is yellow and the other is green. How many possible outcomes are there? And determine the probability that you roll a total sum of 11. C, determine the probability that you roll a sum that is not 11. So notice that these two, these two are opposites. Therefore, they're complements. Right? Okay, so if I want to talk about a combination of outcomes, first thing I do is to make a chart to see how the outcomes blend and combine to make sums. So we can call this the yellow die outcome. Yellow dies outcomes. And this would be the green. Green dies outcomes. Okay. So the sums are a result of adding the different outcomes together. So 1 plus 1 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 1 plus 3 is 4, 5, 6, 7, 2 plus 1 is 3, 2 plus 2 is 4, 2 plus 3 is 5, and so on. 3 plus 1 is 4, 3 plus 2 is 5, and then so on. 4 plus 1 is 5, 4 plus 2 is 6, and so on. 5 plus 1 is 6, 2 plus 2, uh, sorry, 5 plus 2 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 6 plus 1 is 7, 6 plus 2 is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, okay? So inside the grid are the sums, okay? And outside of the grid are the outcomes. It says, how many possible outcomes are there? So you can count how many you've got. Or you could say, oh, I've got six rows and I've got six columns. Or you could say you've got six green outcomes times six, what's the other color? Yellow? Yellow outcomes. So six times six is 36 outcomes in total. Okay. B, determine the probability that you roll a total sum of 11. So you want the total sum to be 11. All right, so where are the 11s? The sum of 11 is here when you have a five and a six, and the sum of 11 is here when you get a six added to a five. So the number of times, the number of uh, desired sums of 11 are divided by the number of total outcomes, right? So your sample space are all of these values. But your event space is an 11 and an 11, right? So in total, the number of desired outcomes are 2 divided by 36, and then divide both by 2, so you get 1 out of 18. B now, it asks, um, what's the probability that the sum is not 11? So the probability that the sum is not 11. Well, you can simply add all of these up, right? You can count them. And you can say, oh, looks like I've got 34. So number of desired 
outcomes uh, whose sum does not equal 11 all divided by the number of total outcomes right so you can count 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 you get 34 out of 36 now if you subtracted 36 minus the 2 you're already using the complement without realizing it okay so this is what I'll show you so you could reduce this divide by 2 so you can get 17 out of 18 well so that's method 1 or you could say the probability of a sum not equaling 11 is equal to 1 minus the probability that the sum is 11 right so you've got your little Venn diagram here you've got uh, some outcomes we'll call it okay so those are all of the numbers and then in here you've got a sum of 11 the sums are 11 so the sums are equal to 11 so if you want sums not equal to 11 you've got all of this shaded spots these spots here so you know that the sums is a probability of the total is 1 so you want to minus the probability of sums being 11 to get the shaded area right so that's what we're doing there so we say it's the same as 1 minus the probability of the sum being 11. It's the same as 1 out of 18. So to subtract, you need common denominators. Oopsies. Getting ahead of myself here. And 17 out of 18 is the same. So that method there. Okay, so method 1 or method two, right?